All right, ready, ready. The day has finally come. I am done with the shed, at least with the construction aspect of it. I finished my last plant box today. All I have left to do is eventually when, uh, turn it here, once the pressure treated lumber on the plant boxes have dried out thoroughly, I will go ahead and paint them black to match the trim. So as I'm talking here, I'm just gonna flip it around. So here we go. So here is my shed and plant boxes are done. This has been quite the ordeal. It's taken roughly uh, four weeks working in the mornings by myself. So here are my plant boxes. I just kind of built one at a time using the lumber that I had, 2 by 10s um, I did go ahead and fill them about halfway up with gravel just to save me money on the uh, soil that needs to go in there. Plus it works as great for drainage and a little unknown fact, uh, gravel contains lime which is great for plants. So. It's like I'm adding fertilizer at the same time, plus the irrigation. So, here we go. I've got two plant boxes along the side. Ground slopes down. It's actually two 2x10s two stacked. And as they come up, I dug a ditch and laid them in and then backfilled them. The front ones are just single 2x10s, uh, roughly 4 to 5 feet long. Um, and then we got our two 36 inch double doors with small windows in the front. Again, you got an overhang of about a foot all the way around. I did a uh, 5V metal roofing with, um, um, I used flashing, corner flashing to flash the gables and the front. Turned out really well. And I used T111 as a special coating on it so that it uh, resists rot and then I just backfilled with some gravel to keep the mud from splashing up on the sides and stuff when it rains because this is a shed after all it's not a house although I think I could uh, make maybe turn it into a uh, mini home and rent it out <laughs> uh, I am going to insulate it so there we go. I'll go ahead and as I'm walking down here, open her up. So here we go. I did build a, a step just kind of in between. It was a little high to step into. I basically just took a 2 by 10 cut it in half. Um, so the rise is about 5 inches. So here we go inside. These are my scaffolding that I will use as uh, shelving. I uh, had a little bit of lumber left over um, and I'll probably do a back wall um, for lumber and I have started to buy some face to, uh, insulation. I will insulate it to keep it from being completely sweltering in the summer and ice cold in the winter so here we go that is my shed build for the summer um, hopefully you if you have been watching it uh, I really appreciate it I basically just do this each summer when I have a little time when I do a project just so I can look back on it remember how horrible it was I have quite a few of those um, but it wasn't yeah it was horrible Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.